Well, he made a promise to his mother, and nearly 11 years after her murder, Isaias Gomez says that promise is being fulfilled. Last week, we told you about Damiana Castillo's cold case in which an arrest was finally made. Well, tonight in our Justice Files, ABC 4's Marcos Ortiz follows up and speaks with Castillo's son. Damiana Castillo lived in these apartments back in 2008. She and Sonia Mejia were murdered on the same date, two years apart. Ten years after her death, Castillo's son opens up for the first time about his mother's murder. She always have a smile for everybody and is still missing. Even after a decade, Isaias Gomez still feels the pain of his mother who was murdered. It was a Sunday morning in 2008. Gomez came to pick his mother to take her to work. She didn't answer the door, but he had an extra key. I remember uh, my mom in the, on the ground covered with uh, a pillow. Gomez called 911 and West Valley Police began a murder investigation. Two years earlier, on the same date, Sonia Mejia was murdered at her apartment. It remained unsolved. Soon, investigators linked the murders of both women, Castillo and Mejia. Not knowing who the killer was, prosecutors filed murder charges against a John Doe. They had evidence, but no suspect. But last week, District Attorney Sim Gill told ABC4 News the killer had been found and is under arrest. But the suspect's identity remains unknown because the case is under seal. Gomez was unaware of an arrest. I'm not angry for uh, the situation. I'm angry for the uh, missing uh, answer. Missing. Why? Gomez hopes that one day he'll learn the why. But for now, his focus is to do what his mother wanted him to do. I have to try to do the, what my mom told me. No matter what happened, you have a family to support. Gomez says he never thought about who murdered his mother. He says that would have made him an angry man. And that's not something his mother would have wanted. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.